Yo, yo, good morning traders and welcome back to Daily Forex Market Analysis. Right now it's Thursday the 6th of June, the 6th of 6th in 2019. And let's dig straight into the Daily Forex Market Analysis. This is my morning session and I'm just basically continuing my stuff from yesterday. As you can see yesterday on this pattern we had a USD CAD cipher. It kind of it was a one that you, you had to suffer a little bit of drawdown, but from the looks of it right now, you would be in a green and maybe even out for a target one hit. Uh, let's just check that out. No, no, not yet. Target one is still not hit, but you would be in a green for like 15 pips from total 30. So you're kind of suffering a little bit of a a pullback here and now you're looking to get f 25 more pips to targets one it it's looking legit and i believe it can happen but i you know you know you never know what's gonna happen so that's any that's everything i see on this pair and uh besides this on our four the trade i did not take because i'm not trading our four just our one uh i don't see anything else for me so aussie cat a garkly that we marked up yesterday in the video from yesterday that you can also check it out in your top right corner right now there is a video from yesterday so click on it check it out check out the yesterday's analysis uh, and then go back to this one to see what's gonna happen today basically I'm waiting this Gartley it's looking good uh, it's looking good it's looking nice and I think if, if we get a completion here at the D point uh, and the overbought over our solar candle uh, which we just might get I will definitely get engaged. I just need to put my uh, alarm here so that uh, so that my pepper uh, that my seat trader reminds me. Then following the Aussie USD, since yesterday we didn't move much, we didn't do anything significant, and I didn't see any opportunities for me here. It just rolled. Uh, it was just rallying up, making some kind of a double top here. Retest didn't make a new high, and now it's rolling over. And we will see what's going to happen overall on this pair. Euro dollar. Euro dollar, what I see this morning as this small cipher pattern here. So if you caught it in the Asian session, that's good for you. But I think you would get stopped out or not. It depends on your spread. Uh, it's not a cipher for me. It's out of my trading time. So I did obviously, no, it, it was in my trading time actually, as you can see yesterday. A 3 p.m. GMT sign, but it, it's not something that I would get engaged in. Okay, so it's it took it's two candles for B to C, and look from the looks of it, yeah, it's gonna lose. So it's a good decision. Uh, you would got stop out for 25 pips. Okay, moving on. Pound dollar, a trade from yesterday actually came, but if you don't re remember, it is a big bad pattern here. we got first it pulled it, it came a pip away a less than a pip away from my pending orders then rolled over again pip away from my pe pending orders rolled over and then bulls came in and got me in the trade and there was a fight between bulls and bears here for a little bit and then eventually bears won this battle and started pushing price down came two pips away for or actually a little bit less than two pips away from my target one uh which is low is 75 and my target one is a uh, seven uh, so pip and a half away so uh, i woke up in the middle of the night rolled my stop uh at, to break even and now i'm waiting for sellers to show up again and hit my targets one and eventually and hopefully hit my targets to for another 95 pips that would be really really awesome and a win that I, that i desperately need for not just for this month but overall to get me to start getting me out of my drawdown uh, plus we got we made some money on a swap <laughs> that's good that's always good when when you make some money on a swap uh besides this we have pound yen and i just repeat my i'll just repeat myself from yesterday uh, i'm expecting price action to push a little bit up in the skill zone and then I would be considering engaging, but I didn't backtest it yet. If you did, I think this zone would be a good opportunity for you to take that short opportunity because based on my higher time from analysis, I believe that the uh, Pound Yen can come a little bit lower to test this level here, right there. 
Okay, and with that being said, I'm wrapping up my morning session and uh, the afternoon session will come just in a few seconds, but I want to invite you to sus subscribe to this channel if you're new and if you like this kind of content, I do this on a daily basis. Also on the screen right now, you can see a link uh, to a free bundle, which includes the ebook, back testing sheet and a quick video tutorials to kickstart your trading journey if you're just starting out, where I share everything that I wish I knew when I was first starting out and a few very profitable strategies and how I approach them and how are they profitable for me. So if you're interested in it, you can uh, put that link in a browser or click a link in the description and put in your details and join our free community where we share the trading ideas on a daily basis. Yeah, guys, with that being said, see you in the afternoon session and thank you for staying with me until the, the end of the morning session. Take care. And Hi, hi, traders, and welcome back to the afternoon session. So let's just dig in straight into the content. As you can see on the Aussie cat, the bad pattern that we were eyeing up since this morning kind of completed at a, at a decompletion point right here. However, I got to be honest, I did not take this trade. And this is not a mistake. It, the candle that activated, that would activate my trade, pardon me, came... Uh, after my trading time, as you can see down below, it says 6 p.m. GMT time and I'm not trading after 5 p.m. So if this candle would have activated it, I would be in that trade, but it's not. We will see what's going to happen tomorrow with it uh, or it, we, we might see it really quickly, but I'm not in this trade. Uh, USD CAD didn't move much, you know, the, the uh, cipher pattern did not complete as we were uh, checking out this morning. So now you're in a drawdown if you're not trailing your, uh, if you're not trailing your, uh, uh, what? No, if you're not trailing your stop loss, yeah. And But we are making some kind of a double bottom here. We, we have some kind of a, a reaction of buyers. As you can see, we have some kind of a push down and then the buyers showed up and pushing price up. It's uh, 10 minutes to end of this candle. So we will see what's gonna happen. Aussie CAD, we covered it. Now, uh, Aussie USD, nothing for us today as, as mentioned in the morning session. Euro dollar had spiked up significantly. If you were in that cipher that I mentioned this morning, you would be, you would be stopped out for, uh, let me see, how much is it? For uh, entry and a stop loss is around 20, around 30 pips per position, roughly. And then a pound dollar, our trade from, uh, I don't know, two days ago or a day ago, actually, uh, finally completed today for a target one for 50, for 50 pips. But then we got stopped out for a second position right here. As you can see, price action rolled over. I had to trail my targets for slightly just to get complete, just to get a, uh, better, not better, just to get a, you know, 38.2 retracement per my rules and we netted around 50 52 pips and then price action started pushing up and i got uh, because i trailed my stop losses i my stop loss was the entry point and i got stopped out for the second position but right now uh, it looks like the sellers showed up again and they're pushing price down we will see what's going to happen tomorrow but so far there's nothing here for me besides maybe and we will see what's What's that all about? And is this going to is this going to happen tomorrow? There is a Gartley pattern here, as as you can see. Give me a sec. And then there is a bigger bat pattern as well, which is going to be interesting. And per my rules, I'll ha I'll ha ah come on. Per my rules, I'll have to take both of them. So we will see what's going to happen uh, with this with these two trades. Okay, so, so this is the entry for Gartley, but we also have a bad pattern look if you take an X so both of them are valid for me because I can see them with my eyes and I need to take both of them so first is naturally Gartley and we will see next morning tomorrow morning what's gonna happen with this pair but uh, then we go on a pound yen as I said and as, as as I predicted pound yen is still pushing towards that kill zone on an hour four and an hour one as you can see we did roll over slightly but now we are pushing up However, sellers are showing up here, as you can see, kind of resistance here. Sellers pushing a uh, price down when buyers were trying. Again, here, we will see how this candle will close. If the sellers manage to push the price down, I already have on my 
I already have, as you can see, the alert set up from today's session uh, for a Gartley. I believe this is a Gartley as well. Yes, it was a Gartley. So this would be a Gartley that I'll be waiting for tomorrow as well. And that kind of sums it all up. Uh, today's session, it's pretty active day in the markets. A lot of things are on a rare. And if you like this kind of a content and enjoy these kind of videos, if you find it education, educational, please click that like button. Also consider subscribing, smash the bell button, share the video, and leave a comment below. Uh, as a bonus gift too, I do it all the time. So on the analysis, I wrote a book two months ago. I actually spent two months writing an ebook uh, where I shared everything that I wish I knew when I was first starting out with trading because it would uh, save me a lot of time. So you can find that link on the screen right now. You can put it in the browser or just a click, click a link in the description, put in your details and join our free traders community. And of course, download, read the book and leave me, uh, tell me what you think about it. Uh, with that being said, I kind of summed it all up and I want to thank you one more time for staying until the end of this video and speak to you soon. Bye bye.